Hi guys, Jarrell here, back with reactions to The 100. We're on to episode 5 of season 4. Now then, Clark is starting to promise things that she can't actually keep and finding that being a leader is nowhere near as easy as she thought it was going to be. She had a conversation with Jaha in the last episode and he pretty much laid out why things are so complicated and how things so quickly can get out of hand. She has managed to rally the troops and tell them all that there will be a place for them in Arcadia and that everyone is going to survive. We all know that's not going to be the case. Meanwhile, Abby and Raven and everyone else who have headed to go and try and find this um, laboratory of beggars have actually found it. They've had to fight their way in thanks to all the autonomous drones that were still there and have managed to keep Luna alive who wanted to bail at one point but Raven managed to talk it down. They've just gone inside the facility now and it is fully kitted out to be able to try and reverse engineer everything. So let's see what happens. This is episode 5. Nightblood was designed to help the human body not reject the AI and protect it against radiation emitted from the device. That's why it saved Luna. She just stopped breathing. Oh, she's here. Get her on the table. Now. There's a stab wound in her belly. She's soaked in blood. I was on my way home from Polis when I found her. Listen. Hey, stay with me. War is here. Convene the guard. Miller's dad is ranking officer. If Asget is coming, we need to plan our defense, okay? I'll be there as soon as I can. Okay, Nyla, I could use the help. I have to speak to Rowan. Something happened. Some sort of misunderstanding. No, absolutely not. Actually, that might work. Moni, what are you talking about? The Ice Nation thinks they have the element of surprise. But thanks to Octavia, we do. Pike showed us how valuable that can be. You're citing Pike? Anna. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> One person. Yes, they did. And I'm Gilama. Are they up above? Ah! Yeah, yeah. You won't last two seconds. Elevate position. What if it's a trap? It's a trap. We're already in it. Damn it. What are you doing, Riley? Your target is the army. Clark is negotiating with their king. Stop targeting. Over. You shouldn't be here. After what they did to him. They knew you were coming. We have thousands of rounds. You'll be the ones with no one left. Then let's hope no one shoots. He may have brought Octavia back, but I think he may just be your Trojan horse. Abby, what happened when you tried to get the Nightblood protein to bond with Luna's DNA? The structure of the RNA fell apart. That's why she did it in space. Right. Abby, she just had a seizure. Because I think I know why Becca couldn't make it work in this lab. Computer, show me prototype Nightblood RNA binding in a zero G environment. Yes. She's right. Oh, that's so clever. How do we simulate zero gravity in a laboratory environment? Okay, Raven's become a Borg. <laughs> I think she went to space to make night blood. Raven, how does that help us? Computer. Open interior blast and launch doors. Do not tell me.
You've got to be kidding me. That's big. Costa, you got eyes on Riley? Went to take a leak. How long ago? I don't know. Not long. Rowan, we're allies. What are you doing? We had a deal. You broke it. I broke it. We're not here to kill you, Clark. We're here to take your ship. Did Kane tell you about the night blood solution? He tried. Sounds to me like you're making the next commander. The great Juan Heda, the commander of death, who says she wants to save everyone, yet builds a ship for herself, for her people. Wait. What if we share it? One of our people has moved out of formation. I have reason to believe he's trying to kill your king. Why are you telling me this? Why do you think he's telling you this? He's trying to stop a massacre. Who is it? Riley. Riley? He shouldn't even be here. I know Riley. Let me come with you. I can stop him. Do you think me a fool, Bellamy? You'd be a dead fool if you step out of this kill box without me. Bellamy's working with one of theirs to find Riley. You let them through, understood? Copy that. She's using a huge percentage of her brain. Simulator built into the rocket software. Get this hairnet off me so I can strap in and give her a whirl. Yeah, that's a blade. We don't know if it's a Stark yet. Then what is it? I have mental ability, hallucinations, euphoria, headaches. It's all connected. Allie warned you that the EMP would cause brain damage. Jasper was right. That's why no one else got an upgrade. What are you talking about? For everyone else, Clark pulled the master kill switch. It's like shutting down a program the right way. When the EMP fried my chip, it was more like cutting the power from the OS while the RAM was still full. Go on. Part of Ali's code is still in my head. That's why you knew where the rocket was. Yes. Raven, your brain scan showed evidence of a stroke. Are you really willing to kill your own man to save my king? Don't you get sick of it? My man, your king. Prime Fire doesn't give a damn about what clan you're from. Nope. I'm glad you'll get a chance to say goodbye to your sister before it comes. I'm a king, Clark. I don't have to ask my people what they want. The real question is... Can you all just sell this to your people? <laughs> they won't be happy about losing half their seats in the lifeboat. We don't need to be happy. We need to survive. I get this guy's in pain and he wants revenge, but how is this going to solve it? Riley, stop! You don't want to do this. I'm done with this. Move or I'll kill you too! Riley, stand down! Okay, I am begging you. Trust me when I tell you, if this turns into a massacre, it will never get out of your head. War made me a murderer. He knows. Listen to him. Coincidence, he found me on my way here. He used me to get in. This whole ship yep. is tech. Where would you go to do the most damage? The server room. Yep, he's blind the server room. Could I not? <laughs> All that deal she just made with the king is about to go up in smoke. Okay, no. no one needs to die, you should leave. Please, the engine room is right below us. If it blows, you'll destroy the whole ship. That's the idea. If we can't crack Nightblood, we'll share Arcadia. Find a way for us to survive together. No, no, Juliet! Too late. Shit. There goes your Arcadia. It's gone. Wow. I have to find my 
sister. That was a pretty weird episode. Right, so we went from very few options to a singular option. Arcadia is no more. So most of that uh, episode on them almost coming to war and to blows would have been for nothing. Thank God they managed to stop it and Arcade. Octavia managed to warn them in time for Clark to stop the war, but at the same time, she only made it back because that guy wanted a way in to blow the whole damn place. So it just came full circle. It was inevitable that it was going to happen, and I, I saw the minute it was him that had saved Octavia, that something wasn't right, that he was here for an ulterior, to, ulterior motive. He was just way getting through the front gate. So, what do we do now? The only option left is for them to figure out how to reverse engineer this nightblood to save everybody. Other than that, it's game over, pretty much. And we've finally got an explanation as to why Raven has become a super intelligent. Um, and I like the way they showed um, her figuring it out, her having that little space walk. I thought it was just her dreaming or tripping. And it's because the way um, Becca managed to actually get all of this to bind with the DNA was because it was in a zero G environment, which makes sense as to why she now went and worked in space on it. I wasn't expecting there to be a big ass rocket in there though, but like we now know, the reason she knew that was there behind the blast doors is because she's got part of uh, Ali's original code and Becca's um, logs and memories still in it. But I think long term, whatever it is they found on Raven's brain scan is probably going to kill her. If that's showing up as a sign of a possible stroke coming because she's already having seizures. That's not good. I don't see how that can be repaired. But it also makes sense as to why it only happened to Raven and no one else. She even explained it herself as to how Clark pulled the master switch for everyone else. But that's not how it happened for Raven because Ali was still there when they pulled her from the City of Light. At least Bellamy is happy that Octavia is still alive. Um, for the time being now though, they've now got nowhere to damn well live because the whole thing is gone up in flames and is burning. Where are they going to go now? Are they all now going to go back to Polis? Because they can't stay there, it's in ruins. I don't know, I guess we'll just have to wait for the next episode to see what everyone who was at Arcadia is going to do now because there, there is no way they can stay there now, there is just nothing left. So they've even have lost all the little, any technology that they had left, they've probably lost all their weapons or the medical facilities they had. All they're gonna have now is what they've got at the research facility where they currently are. Damn. And I don't know why I'm getting a sense. I've no idea where the show is gonna go. I haven't seen it. But I'm getting a sense at some point we're going to end up back in space. I don't know why. Now it started showing the, this research facility and that we have a rocket and we have a means. I don't know why. I just feel like some, some group of them are going to end up back in space. I don't know why. I've just got that overwhelming thought that the writers are going to go down that route at some point. I, I could be completely wrong about it. I don't know. So have to wait and see. Right, that was episode five. Uh, I suppose episode six now will be a, a regroup of everybody. I'm expecting everyone now to have to go back 
with the grounders because they've now got nowhere to go. Damn. Right, I'll be back for that episode very soon, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and hit notifications, turn your subs on and let me know what you thought of the video. And I will see you for that episode 6 in a few days. Until then, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.